We are underway for game three. And Joe is back. We're good. We're good. So game three. This is a U U9, U10 boys final between the Strikers and the Dynamite. That was going to run out of bounds. So the Strikers are in the yellow. And Mantua wearing the white tops. Masons in goal for the Strikers. That was a nice shot there by number 11, Christopher. As I only have first names for this game. That's all we need. <laughs> Nice pass out to Ryan for the Strikers. That was going to run out of bounds. Be a throw-in for Mansfield. That was Owen. Nice try there by Owen. So throw in Mantua. Number 12. That's Ryan. A lot of Ryans. Good switch of the field. Oh, excuse me. She's going to get on the board first. Here goes Mantua. Oh! Shot! Oh, and a good save by the Strikers goalie. That was number 10, Sam, I believe. That was going to run out of bounds. Seven, ah, it's already been two minutes. That one's going off the wall. Be a throw in for Mantua. That yeah, was Christopher with the with the kick. I'm sitting in the middle, nobody there. That's number 15, Dominic. Or Dom as they like to call him. For the strikers. Battling with uh, number one, EJ, from the Mantua Dynamite. That's out of bounds. It'll be Dynamite Ball. That was number 99. Michael couldn't keep it from going over the line. Oh, that, ooh. Mantua has it. That one might run out of bounds. It will, but it's going to go off of the striker, and it'll be a throw in for Mantua. So I just got schooled by Captain Andrew Lovar. Told you that was the golden goal when they score when there's no goalie in an overtime period. Well, in uh, in regular soccer, I know that golden goal isn't really used as much anymore. But when it is used, there are goalies. In like, oh, good cross. Like I was saying, there, the goal, there are goalies in professional soccer for that. I don't know. There you go. So... Nice try there by Dominic, number 15 for the Strikers. But here comes Sam, and Sam puts a move. Cuts back into the middle, out of chance at a shot. Good defense by number eight. Oh, and they caught a foul on her. Good ball, good defensive play there. That one's sent down. Nobody there. Oh, it's taken away. Owen almost coughed up a goal there for the Strikers. Oh, neck and neck battle right now. A good play by number 18. That was uh, Zach. It's a good play. Made just sure they didn't get the corner. We got a throw in. That one's going to be sent. This could be trouble. Oh, almost. Oh, good defensive play by number 12. For the dynamite, and the was strikers Ryan. end up getting it back. I don't know who that ball is going to be 
striker ball. That was Owen there with the hustle, number eight. And we got some uh, substitutions. More like another wow. team. <laughs> Thrown in. Circus yeah. wasting no time. Mantra were carrying 12 players. Yeah. Cross into the middle. The nice strikers save. are carrying 10. Oh, he's got a long throw. I was going to run out of bounds, throw in for the strikers. Every game so far has been really, really intense. Oh, nice try to the middle. Great idea. Chance. Oh, just wide. That was number 28, Omar. Oh, that was a close one. That one's set long. That one's hit high. So they got Omar, Carlo, and Ryan as their. Oh, nice throw. It's going to be a front. corner kick for the strikers. How many viewers we got for this game, Joe, you know? Sent, nice cross. It's gonna be another corner. You know how many viewers we got for this game? As of now? Another good cross. That one could be another corner. It's gonna be a sitch kick. I'll let you know in two seconds. I like to know how many people are actually online watching. Pretty exciting. I was gonna run out of bounds, it'll be striker ball. Zero zero here with twelve forty five to go here in the first half. You're watching the U ten boys winner one final. Brought to you by Don D'Ambra Soccer Academy. Eighteen viewers. Eighteen. Oh, nice passing play. As Omar and Joe chase the ball, and that's going to be Joe taking the ball in for the match with Dynamite, Dynamite and White Strikers in yellow. You're watching. U9 and U10 boys DDSA championship for the Travel League Winter One Series. That was gonna run and it'll be dynamite ball. Sent it down to the corner, it's gonna go out of bounds. Oh, is there gonna be a throw-in? It's a throw-in, good defensive play there. U10, U10 and U11 girls coming up next for their championship game. Who we got in that game, Joe? That one's going to run out of bounds. Mansion with Gunners against the Washington Township Strikers. Coming up at 8.15. That's uh, 5.15 on the West Coast, Sean. Hopefully I made it in the 8.15. <laughs> are ready to sub their team in. <laughs> team one and team two. <coughs> Excuse me. Bad throw, and we're going the other way. Striker. Ball. And substitutions for both teams. Go 
Pierce outside. That's number 99. That's Michael. Shot. Oh, shot. save. Nice shot there, my Michael. Back and forth we go. Sam with the big kick. This is the longest we've gone in the game without a goal. Any game that I... I have a feeling that will change soon, Sean. Will it be the strikers or will it be the dynamite? A lot of midfield action here. That one sent over the head. May it try to change? No, it'll be a throw in. Good defensive play by number eight there. To block number seven, Evan, from uh, getting the ball over toward the net. And here come the strikers. Oh, excuse me. Strikers have a chance. Oh, and a great defensive play by number 12 there. From Mitch to Orion. That one sent way long. Shot. Oh, what a save. It tries a chance. Set wide left. Seven and a half. Oh my! Excuse me. Seven and a half remaining here in game three of five. Sent long. The goalie is gonna let it run out. For a goal kick. That one sent into the middle. Oh, and a good step in there by number 10. And this is number 10. Seeing the shot. Oh, great save by the goalie. That's uh, Mason, number 19 in goal. For the strikers. Shot wide. The goalie's number 22, John, for the Mantua Dynamite. That one's going to go wide as well. Both teams have gotten the opportunities to score, but none have gone into the back of the net. Oh! That was a swing and a miss. I've seen three of them today. Oh, good send. Pace picking up here in the uh, coming into under six minutes to play here in the first half. I think they're starting to realize that somebody's got to put something on the board. Oh, he's nice passed that by Sam. There's a chance, seven. There's a chance to cross. That was Just Evan. wide. Evan with the shot, but unfortunately wide. But nice feed there by number 10, Sam. The striker's taking it down. But just like that, Mantra says, no, thank you. And they send the ball the other way. Oh, the shot. Big save. Big save there by number 22, John, the goalie for the Mantra Dynamite. He's going to be sent out wide as she tracked it down. Oh! That 
That's Mantua Ball as they make a uh, substitutions. I really think they have two teams. <laughs> Looks like number 25's in the game now. That's Ryan and Mantua Ball. Number one, EJ's back in the game. Uh oh. That was a good opportunity. That's a bit. Now it's WSA. Gonna come on the counter. Send it to the middle. Nobody there. Four and change to go here in half number one of the U10 boys final. Shot. Save by the goalie. Uh-oh. Cuts back into the middle. The shot is deflected and taken outside. It was number eight, Owen, on the deflection off the uh, shot by Sam. The dynamite. Oh, here come the strikers. Oh, too far on the touch there. Oh, what a move. Number 11, nice Christopher, header, defensive play. Away, boy. Three and change. They tries a chance. Oh, unlucky. That's going to go out of bounds. It'll be into a ball with three to go. The strikers. Both teams have really good defensive schemes right now. They're both keeping the ball dead center. That's why it's going back. Oh, there goes a wide pass. Too wide over will be a throw in for Mantua. There goes number 99. Taking it on the sideline into the middle. They still got a chance. That one's going out the other way. Is it going to go out of bounds? No, he's going to keep it in. Nice save there by number 15. That one's going to run, 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 run as fast as you can. Substitutions for the strikers. And in the middle, picked up by the goalie. It's number 32, Carlo, who's back into the game with the strikers. He's going back the other way. Then back and forth. And a foul called against Mantua. With 115 to go. There's the kick. Nice kick outside. Right in the middle. That would have been a great play. No one was there. That one sent out. Kept in. That one's, oh, across in the middle. Nobody there. And we're under a minute here in half number one. Sent long. Here comes Mantua. Mantua's got a chance. Oh, just Sam. wide. Sam with an amazing shot there. Just a little bit off. That would have been an exciting way to end the first half. It would have been. Just 10 seconds remaining there, Sean. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh, the... Oh. Strikers had a chance there. Clock ran out, though. 
It's halftime. We'll be back right after these messages. When you suffer from chronic hip pain, you start counting every step. At Virtua, we practice the most minimally invasive total hip replacement techniques. So you can stop counting and get your life back faster. Take the first step. Contact Virtua today at gotmylifeback.org. The Flyers and the NHL have contributed to Virtua through the National Hockey League Fights Cancer Program. And the Flyers' wives have also given their time in Virtua hospitals with Read Across America. And Virtua can't say enough about how very special it is for its pediatric patients when the players visit. They're just blown away, completely blown away by the hockey player's visit. Peter Laviolette and his wife Kristen come unannounced to the hospital at Christmas time with gifts for the kids on the pediatric unit. You can feel this organization cares about their community and it's great to work with them. Hockey is a sport of teamwork, and that goes beyond what happens here on the ice at the Virtua Center Flyer Skate Zone. It's a part of Welcome back. Still nothing, nothing here in the U910 Winter One Finals. It's been back and forth so far here, Joe. And a good play by the goalie there. It was the first time we had a no scoring first half. Unlike our maps counterpart, where we saw lots of scoring pretty much from the get go. Captain. Oh, and it's going to be a foul. It's going to be a mix or a free kick. The free kick will be taken by, looks like number 10 from Ageworth. We got two number 10s from Ageworth? Yeah, of course we do. This is Sam. The other Sam is the other number ten is Mac. We screwed that up earlier in the broadcast. We apologize to Mac. Oh, and a foul called. It's a free kick. In the middle, picked up by John. Then it'll be a throw in for Mantua. There's number 28. Omar. That's Omar, yeah. Keeps it in. Try to get it in the middle. Couldn't get it in. He finally gets there's a shot. We'll try to get the flatted corner kick for the strikers, which will be taken by number 11, Christopher. That's a good cross. Oh, and a better save by the goalie, John. It's a foot race. Oh, no foul called. And it'll be striker ball with just over 17 minutes to play. Do 
still no. Still no goals yet in this game. been back and forth like I've been saying no goals yet and it's just been a very defensive kind of game so far here early in the second half a bad throw by the strikers and Mantra has a golden opportunity here early in the second half opportunity into the middle oh he didn't get enough on it that one set long oh and he's out of the box not sure what there's gonna be here Could it be a corner Shot. Oh, what a save by John. One of the really, really golden opportunities there for the strikers in this game. And it's going to be a match with ball. Some substitutions now for uh, both teams. One set. Take it away by Mac. That one's going to run. Is it going to run out of bounds? No, it's kept in. Great hustle play down there. I'm not sure what the number was. Number 11. Mason down there. An opportunity going for the strikers. Captain. Strikers and Dynamite here. You're watching U9, U10 boys winner one finals via the Don DeAmber Soccer Academy Travel League. Live from the Virtua Total Turf Experience indoor and outdoor sports complex located in Pittman, New Jersey. Beautifully said, Sean. I tried, Joe. <laughs> Charlie Manuel still here, Joe. He left about 10 minutes ago. He's been here ever since last night, though. He never left last night. Nope. I believe he slept on the uh, on the turf last night. In the middle, nobody there. Still nothing, nothing here. 12 minutes to go. That one said and caught by John. That one sent all the way down. 
kicked all the way back. Oh, and she missed the handball. Shot just wide. That's what I've seen, Joe. Many of the shots that they've taken have been good shots, just not on target. Two defensive teams battling it out. Oh, that could have been a dangerous scene. Hey, Joe. You might want to let it, I'll switch for you real quick, but. Nothing we could do on that, or? Back. I'm trying to see if there's a connection issue. We're not really sure. If we did lose anybody, we apologize. Still nothing, nothing here. Ten and a half to go. The shot saved by John. Man to a ball. Off the deflection there. Here goes Mac. Could we have another overtime game? We got another well, we could possibly as uh, Captain Andy Lugar said, uh, Golden Gold Joe. There you go. More substitution, Sean. Other teams out in the field. <laughs> I've been saying that all along, Joe, but. Opportunity for the strikers. That was gonna run too far. Good hustle there by number 15, Dom. We got two more games coming up, Joe. That's what they tell me. Oh yeah? <laughs> one at 8.15, one at nine. We have the U10, U11 girls at 8.15, about Eight, five to ten, eight to ten minutes between the Mantua Gunners and the Washington Township Strikers. We and could have overtime. We could. I mean, that could be another thing, so we'll see. Nine o'clock, we have the U13, U14 boys, Mantua United versus Harrison Juventus. Just missed. Striker so close to getting on the board. Oh, nice pass in the middle of the shot. Oh, just wide again. Strikers are really threatening right now. Offensively. And... Uh, 
Not uh, sure what the call was there, but... We will see. Comes John with the kick. Send it long. No handball, look close. Kept in. Oh, a chance. Oh, he just missed it. Golden opportunity again for the strikers and just missed. Shane, the golden opportunity comes up in overtime. Oh, yeah? I forgot. <laughs> And then the middle, oh, swung on and missed. There's a chance. Oh, the flash is shot. Oh, just wide. Just wide. Wide and high. Oh. Someone lost their power rate off in the netting, and now they're struggling to get the ball. Five and a half to go. Now, now the fun begins with this team. That's waiting to play is that they're struggling to get the um, the power that was trying that was thrown up there, and they get it down. Back to soccer. Oh, number 28, Omar just missed it, and it's out of bounds before he can hit it. EJ Emmons just missed it there. Five to go. Still nothing, nothing. And this. Third championship game tonight. Sent long and that will be a goal kick. Come on, dude. It's gonna be a corner for the strikers. It's going to be taken by number 11, Christopher. It's going to be another opportunity now for the strikers. A shot in the middle. Here they go. It's a foot race. Taking outside. Out of bounds. Striker ball. Or natural ball. Chance, oh, he just missed it wide. <laughs> oh, he missed that one, send it to the middle. Interest stars and champ. Both teams have a chance. Three and a half to go. Still neck and neck right now. Three to go. Still neck and neck here in this in this championship. What a pass! Oh, off the crossbar. What a great play to swing it across. Number 19, Mason. No. Yeah, number 18, Mason. 19, Mason. Almost had the game winning goal. He started out in goal. That's going to stay in. It's still in. Now it's out. Two and a half to go. It's getting real crazy up in here, Joe. Crazy up in here. The throw's going to be taken by EJ. Two minutes and change to go. Bouncing out wide. You can feel the uh, intensity picking up. With just under two minutes to play. Yeah. 
That's going to be, oh, it's going the other way. Minute 45 to go, striker ball. Oh, taken away by number two, into the middle. Oh, Mack has a chance. And that's a good defensive play by number seven, Ryan. Minute 15. Getting closer and closer to that golden goal situation, Joe. There you go, that's what we live for. Sudden death, overtime, there's a chance. Shot, oh, corner kick for the strikers. One minute to play. Come on, Spicer! The cross, what a cross. The shot, wide, deflected. Chance, oh, it's just over the net. 40 seconds to go. Oh my. Another golden opportunity. 27 to go, 27 seconds. Running, running out of time. Taken away. Mantra. Keeps it in, but nowhere close to the net. 10 seconds to go. I think we're headed to overtime, Joe. Looks like it. We're gonna... And we are headed to another exciting Golden Girl situation, Joe. We're just going to let it roll here. What? As I've got the uh, camera on Steve, as he is making his way out to. They're going to discuss the golden uh, goal rule. No goalies. Three minutes. Sudden death. Overtime. Like you said, Joe, this is what we live for. <laughs> the strikers have uh, taken the field. Three minutes on the board. We're not really sure what happens if they don't score, though. I believe we probably do another three minutes. Maybe. Until we'll somebody say. scores. Somebody's got to score. Somebody's got to get the picture taken. <laughs> Maybe it'll take all night. <laughs> we'll be here till midnight. They're still playing. <laughs> hey, it's a Friday night. No school tomorrow. Here we go, Sean. Sudden death, three minute overtime. Nothing, nothing still. Let's see who can get on the board first. There is no goalie back there. We do have two players that are acting like goalies per se, but they cannot use their hands. That's a long one. Shots it down. Chipped over, no goal. Heads up, Joe. <laughs> I had that. Strikers electing to go. There goes a shot by number 99. Oh! Just wide, number 99, Mark or the strikers had another golden opportunity. Just let it slip away. Kicked away. Mitch was gonna send it down the other way. Jake knocked it down with his head. Does he get a kick on it? Uh-oh. Opportunity for Mansfield. Oh! 
And we're going the other way. Striker, one and a half to go. Opportunity. Throw in. 120 to go. The anticipation is absolutely killing me. Oh, uh, number 15 is shot off the post. Number 99, Michael, who missed it earlier in every time, wins it for the Dynamite and they are the U9, U10 boys, winner one champions. Coming up next, it's our fourth game of the night. It'll be the U10, U11 Girls Championship for winner one, and it'll be the Manitoba Gunners versus the Washington Township Strikers. And we will be right back with the start of game four. <laughs> 